especially in this eastern part of the free state. Kutala ngfunu kuzala, kungalungi, kutu age yonki nto ine skati sayo. Kushkuti skati, besi ngagafiki. Iskati, yiso lesi. E, ngapamgo kutike ngkubege ma comrades, let me respectfully greet my leadership. Uh, the leadership of the National Women's League, Deputy President, who is also from here, the Secretary General, uh, and let me greet the President of the Youth League, and uh, the spokesperson of, spokesperson of MKMVA, and then let me greet the leadership of the province led by the treasurer of the province. And let me greet the Women's League of the province, Abo Meoli, Abo Matawa, and many others. And let me greet the Youth League of the province, MKVA of the province, but also Sanko of the province and all the others who are who are coming from Sanko, who are here. And more importantly, Ngibingelele, ni nama comrades from the branches. Because you are the basic unit of the ANC. If the branches are alive, the ANC is alive. If the branches are not alive, the ANC will not be alive. Are you alive, branches? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. Is the ANC alive? Yeah. yeah, bo. Comrades, we are going to conference in December. And in conference, Iona gathering and cool Luguna Wonka Ma gathering the Siba Nawa ANC. And it's the most important gathering of the ANC. And of course, the first gathering of that organization took place in this very province in 1912. And in 1912, when the comrades gathered, with the traditional leaders, with the, with, with the religious leaders, they were complaining because as Africans, we had been dispossessed. Dispossessed of our land, of our citizenship, and stripped of our dignity, and they were very ready to fight and make sure that our dignity is restored, our freedom is restored, our land. Because when they took away our land, they also took away our cattle. And so people started getting poor then. So comrades, in December, not only are we going to elect leadership, but we are going to take resolutions. Some of the resolutions are already there, like radical economic transformation. That was done again where? Do you remember where the radical economic transformation? Uh -huh. Here in this province. So this province has got history very rich history and it's intertwined with the ANC. Angegu shugani si free state ne ANC. I ANC ne free state angege shugani no my nini. Ngobi ANC yaza lelwala. And many important decisions the ANC is itatwila. So comrades, ngo December, Silindele, a conference, a peaceful. Yes. So are we going to have a peaceful conference? It depends on you branches. Yes. We must have a peaceful conference 
We must have a calm conference. We must have a united conference. And we must have a dignified conference. The ANC that we know must have a dignified conference, not some things that we have seen. Our conference must reflect the ANC. When we have our conference, our departed heroes and heroines must look down on us and say, that's the ANC we left. They must look down upon us and say, that's the ANC we want. Each and every one of us must make that commitment. And as we campaign, we must campaign for unity, not ngogusho ngomlo mokpela nange zenzo. Isenzo so kales kombisu tufudi unity. Ugutu ngahambi utuga bantube ANC yonki ndaole. Umufuni ANC United ngege uhambe utuga bantube ANC. Ngege uhambu kulumagabi ama komrete ANC. Umagu nonkinga uyohambu yoi kuluma ekaya. Ngege bekoni unitu manga beso hamba stugana yonki ndaole. So akfanilanga nomumute sektuga. As a discipline cater of the organization, Funegus Tulele, and just carry on with what the ANC expects you to do. Quest Bill, my comrades, Uma, Sia, a conference in Sia Kona La Payas, Yoketi leadership. In leadership, I care to. Ngoguti, I am tanned to Mantombel, Ukogagas, Nomangam Tanda, Ukomrit Oli. I wish to Sagam Nant. In leadership, Mazi Keta, Funegasas, which is Keta Bant Abbas or Hola Lombuto, who are going to lead this organization for the next five years. And the people who must lead the organization for the next five years are people that, as branches, we have looked at, we have taken them through the eye of the needle, and we are satisfied that they can lead this organization in the next five years. Comrades, why do we need a leadership that is tested, a leadership that is disciplined, a leadership that knows ANC policies and is committed and the ANC. We need that for many reasons. But I'll tell you this morning, we went to a place, Ward 27. And when we got there, we visited a few houses, not many. But what we saw there made us cry. When you have a household headed by a woman with many kids, with no source of income, with no one employed, and with no hope, that's why we must be resolute that we must elect leadership that will address those problems. Problem of poverty in this country. But it's not that there are poor people. There are poor people in the midst of opulence. Ngala Gabuswa Ngala Gasushek. The 
The majority of Abanda Bashupegayo are black people, they are young people, they are children, they are women, and we cannot continue to condone that. The ANC in the 23 years has done a lot, giving us water, electricity, because before the ANC came into power, some of us may forget that there was light on the white side and there was darkness on our side. It's the ANC that has made sure it provides electricity as a right for every citizen in this country. The same thing with water. We may not have provided everybody, but the process and the program is ongoing. Before even education was separate, today the ANC has said every child has a right to go to school. Every child who wants to study science, maths, has a right to do that. Before, Kwagutiwe, Abantaba Mnyama, Kfanelanga, Bafundi Maths and Science, Ngoba Mazelo, Alshaza Lao, Abangege Bashegwon. Bushwa Mapun. EANC has opened those opportunities, but rightly so, our young people have said they want free education because you cannot have a child that comes from a poor family denied education. And so that child is condemned to poverty and her family or his family. So free education. I agree with the young people and with the ANC. And with the ANC that we must provide free education for, young, for our young people. Why do we want to provide free education? Besides the fact that it's a right, it's in our constitution, but also in education, yenza uguti, uguazi, umangabe uneko, no, we must make sure that it's not just general education, that our young people also have skills. Babe namakono, bagwazi ukutoli msebenzi, bagwazi futu kwaka imsebenzi. Our education must not only produce people who are going to be job seekers, but it must also produce job creators. Uh, comrades, e education is also an equalizer. Jehovah City, there is inequality in this country. Without education, that gap will not be narrowed. Because when you have a skill, if you are a doctor and you are in a hospital, you are a doctor. Nobody is going to say, this doctor comes from a poor family, and comes from a rich family, you are a doctor. And you are going to earn the same salary for the same work. If you are an engineer, you are an engineer. If you are building a bridge, nobody is going to say, this one comes from a poor family, this one comes from a rich family. We are engineers. If you are pilots, you are pilots. So it's one of the things that will assist us to bring back our dignity, to bring back and narrow the gap of inequality. So our young people have a right to that education, but they also have a responsibility. Yes, they have a, a responsibility, one, to learn. They have a responsibility to keep away from drugs. And when they do get tempted to go into drugs, 
they must be willing to be rehabilitated. We must have young people, uh, president of the Youth League, who are not drunk all over the place. We can have a nation of, drunk, of drunkards. Here on the SABC News Desk, we do apologize for the break in transmission. We now take you back to Gwakwa in the free state where Gosaza um, Nadlamini Zuma is uh, currently addressing ANC supporters. She is speaking at the OR Tambo Memorial Lecture. Let's go back there now. All who live in it, so should be the land, yes. so should be the wealth. <laughs> so they want. Uguti, South Africa belongs to all who live in it where it suits them. And then where other people must benefit. No, they don't want to talk about that. Comrades, our forebearers, it's not only Mangaung which talked about radical economic transformation. Our forebearers said that we are fighting not only for political freedom, but to change the material conditions of our people. That's what they said long time ago. Now we've been implementing it, but we have not really touched on the real issue that of the economy. Because we have political freedom, but we don't have economic freedom. Anyone who says we have must come here and tell us where. We don't have, but the danger is that before we even get the, the, the economic emancipation, we might even lose political freedom, because you can't sustain it if you, if you don't also get economic freedom. Because when people are hungry, when people are unemployed, when people don't have shelter, when people don't have dignity, because there's no dignity in hunger, in disease, in unemployment, so that is a danger. So we must make sure that we implement our policy, not that we must take a decision. We must implement our policy of radical economic transformation. We must implement it so that when we visit Ward 27, in five years' time, in ten years' time, we don't find the situation we found this morning. We owe it not to the leadership, but we owe it to our people. Our people deserve a decent life. They deserve to have access to health, to food, to education, and to leisure. You know, comrades, when we say we need land, yes, we need it for agriculture, it's true, especially in this province. You see, if you look at this province, and you can go to KZN, you can go to many other provinces, we live on the hilly, rocky sides of the land because we are pushed to the rocky hills of the land. The fertile fields, we are not there. So it's high time, because South Africa can actually be a food basket of the world. But if we get land, make sure, Guti, we put infrastructure for agriculture, we open markets, 
we process some of the things that we produce then we'll create a lot of jobs we train our people and we export we trade with other countries then this country will begin to be prosperous because as long as black people are poor this country cannot be prosperous we must make sure that in agriculture we process we begin to have industries that are processing where we are growing the food but it's not enough to say we want land for agriculture we also want land for housing even in the urban areas we need land for housing we need land to build schools clinics hospitals recreational facilities churches we need land for everything and we must not be made to be beggars of course we must do everything within the law but we must make sure that that happens we must make sure that we open up new industries and new entrants kungaloku kuba ibantu abafanayo abasema businessini kungena abanye abasha amakosikazi iyouth amakoops and bangahlali nje ukuthi wa small business forever bagaqala babe wo small business kodwa abanye kufanele bakhule baze babe wo soma business abakhulu i government ina imali nomingenele angishi ukuthi ikhona imali yanele kodwa ikhona okuthengwa ngayo ama services social development uyawathenga ma uniform engane ihluphekayo akawathenge kumakho ops 8 ulmeni uyawathenga ma uniform ama police ama social aka correctional services ama ningi alawo ma uniform awathengwe koma business bethu u government ufita i call ufita ma prisons ufiti bedlela so uma sinako esijalile uhulumeni angakwazi ukusithenga ukukuthenga kuthini asifuna ukuphiwa sifuna nje ukusebenza uhulumeni akwazi ukuthenga lezinto ezisenzayo so comrades sonke i radical economic transformation singa participate again kodwa into efunekayo i infrastructure ukuthi sibe no gas sikwazi ukwenza zonke lezinto sibe namanzi sibe ne wifi sibe ne ict yonke indawo comrades kodwa ke kufuneka futhi kwi private sector amabhange ande kube khona namabhange abantu abamnyama hayi elodwa abe maningana no hulumeni abe nawo amakosikaz i women's league kwi conference yawedlule bathi they want a women's bank niyakhumbula funeka ke manje sithi kumakosikaz ai awuqala umsebenzi wokuyiforma le women's bank asikwazi ukuthatha ama resolution bese siyahlala singawa implement kwaba i resolution esawuthatha voluntarily fanele thina manje ku women's league siqale sibone ukuthi leyo bank iyo kwenziwa kanjani comrades i radical economic transformation akuyona i code yokunjonja i radical economic transformation i program yokukhulula abantu ekuhluphekeni yokukhulula umphakathi kwi poverty yokukhulula abantu abancane 
ku unemployment kodwa laba badelelayo vela kade babe sicindezele ababone ngathi sikoshiye ukuthi siyakwazi ukuzabalaza basitshela ukuthi hayi njengoba bethi radical economic transformation ingoba befuna umjonja asinjonji umhlaba wethu wawula awuzange bafike nawo bawutholala washo naphi ngoba bazange bawuthenge ekuthini asinjonji inkomo zethu sazila azikho ezafika nemkhumbi akikho isizwe ukuthi wasiyanjonja kungaba khona abanjonjayo lapha nalapha abantu abamnyama belungu wonke umuntu kodwa sikhe isizwe ukungathiwa nje hayi masithatha le police ingoba sifuna umjonja logo akuphele and we must just condemn it with the contempt it deserves singabasabi ngoba umasaba iradical economic transformation ngeke yenzeke siyasaba siyasaba asiye mpini sifuna nje ukuthi singene mnothweni ezweni lethu funeka sihlangane ngoba umasihlangene koba lulu ukuthola izinto ukuzabalazela izinto esizifunayo masihlukene bayozingena kalula singakwazi ukuthola into esifunayo so i unity ibalulekile kodwa i unity akubona ukuthi wena thatha la mina ngizothatha la wena thatha la mina ngizothatha la i unity yokuthi njengoba si ANC yena sifuna ukuyenza ukuze impilo zethu impilo zabantu zibe ngcono sivumelane ngeprogram si unite ANC around that program si unite a society around that program ngeke sithi soba united uma singavumelani ukuthi sokwenzani kodwa sivumelana ngwe policy ka ANC i radical economic transformation bengafanele isdivide ngoba i policy eseyathathwa so comrades amakhosikazi na okufanela ngene kulomnotho intsha kufanele ingene kulomnotho i drive alala kufanele ma comrades sonke sizimise ukuthi sizosebenza sinela sizimise ukuthi asizi uhlala uma ufuna ukuthola into awuhlale khona nangithi uzoyithola kanjani uhlele khona uzoyithola kanjani uhlele khona so sonke kufanele ukuthi after december senze ukuthi samalungu e ANC siye all over the country siyokhuluma nabantu bethu siyobona futhi ukuthi baphila kanjani khona sothi masenze manifesto yokuya ka government sibe siyenza informed by the situation of our people informed by their views because our people are not stupid our people know what they want and they also have views of what needs to be done so we must know what our people want from the villages from the business people the black business especially and all our people must inform what we need to do and then come 2019 all of us must work hard to make sure that the ANC wins the election 
Are we committing ourselves to win the election? As cadres of this organization, we have a responsibility to our people now, but also to future generations. What are we going to say to our grandchildren? Masses Petway DA says we are move where we came from. What we are, what are we going to tell them? Where were we when that happened? So comrades, as seven zeni, si sangane, si kete i leadership, as a solar, got a song, si zo sebenza, ugwenza, is in pilo, zabantu, zibengono, uktuchugisa, is South Africa to make sure that South Africa becomes prosperous and remains peaceful and women's emancipation and youth unemployment is dealt with. It's not going to happen overnight, but we must make sure that that process is on course and that changes come every day. So the last thing I want to say, comrades, is that as comrades, we cannot be part of banning our community assets when we want something. When we want a school, we can't ban a clinic. Yes. Does it make sense? When you want a clinic, you can't burn a library. Even at home, when you want something, you don't burn what you have and then try and get what you don't have. So we must be disciplined and, and understand that those assets are ours. We must protect them. We can't be the ones that destroy them. Even in the midst of apartheid, and I can say this because I was a student then, we struggled. We were in the student politics, but we never banned schools. We never banned assets in our communities. This is an alien thing. And ANC cadres must not agree to that. Because when we do that, we will not go forward. We'll move one step forward and two spe steps backward. So comrades, discipline, work, and radical economic transformation, and these young people and women must be part of driving that. Malibongwe. Forward with radical equation forward. Forward, ngama comrades are disciplined forward. Forward, ngama comrades are tandy unity forward. Forward, ngama comrades are the conference in a bit disciplined forward. Forward, ngama comrades are when the show good conference yet is dignified forward. Malibongwe. Watinta bafazi. 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 Watinta bafazi.